What's up, guys? <laughs> Have fun with it, man. Yeah, just a you thing. What the we one? got Sam. All right, I fucked it up already. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Yo, guys, I just went to Antarctica and I just picked up ten penguins. We got Sam over here bending over for the eight six. Oh my goodness. We got we got three D printer going. Managed to figure out its little little things and it's printing quite well right now. We got somebody taking 30 minutes to put on headlights over there. How's it going Sam? Good. I am doing some jimmy rigging because that is what has got to happen. So I don't know if you if Adrian told you guys. Basically this car is going to grid life South Carolina whether it's running or not it's got to be there. So I've been putting in work and not been recording and the shop's a mess. Uh, we actually had a storm and it made the whole place muddy. We had a whole Evan Shanks situation, or should I call it a situation? And uh, we're, we were being flooded. But the bad part is uh, there's no contractor to sue because we did this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad. It's just a little bit of mud in the shop. It's not too bad. It's just horrible. <laughs> not too bad. Just. Brings the shop morale down. As you can see, it starts from over here and it snakes its way all the way down Tell me, no, it's, over here, you know, right where the 8.6 is. Yeah, that's how you know he's in a rush. He didn't have time to clean. <laughs> he's always cleaning. It was up to me. You guys know. I'd pull this, pull everything out first. So what's the plan for today, Sam? Are we going to finish this all up? So S2000 intake manifold. Okay, uh, should have recorded this, but long story short, the we bought we bought an aluminum plate that we were going to make an adapter with, and then we ended up not using it. So instead, all we did was drill the S2000 uh, face so that it matches this face or that one instead and mm -hmm. uh literally just bolted it on and it's not going to be perfect for now to go to grid life it's going to work as long as the car can read the intake the fuel etc but we're going to have to take it off so we can assess the water lines that go through the intake manifold or the coolant lines but the wiring is going in the injectors are in these are s2000 injectors s2000 intake manifold we have an s2000 radiator that's going to go in shortly and uh, we got to throw in batteries and stuff, but she's not going to be pretty, but she's going to be there. And uh, more or less just to have her socialize because she's been socially awkward. So here we got the radiator. We got the radiator for the, the 8.6 and the drive shaft. I'm just not going to pick it up. I'm just leaving it there. Don't want to break anything. We got the drive shaft, radiator. And it's all coming in today. Is oh, it today? It needs to be today. It needs to be today. Tomorrow. Today we need to have like a game plan because as of right now I'm just rushing. But I think the game plan, if we can get drive shaft, fuel tank in, fuel lines routed, the intake is on, and the battery mounted, that's a good middle ground. Then after that, we just need a radiator. ECU. It, the the car is moments away from being. It doesn't. It looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the same, but it's very close. Now, I mean, they know we you, have steering, right? Mind you, they do. They know we have steering. Yes, they know we have steering now. So yeah, steering. All you need is. And the car's lowered, so it'll look all right. And yes, the car is lowered. Technically, the car can show up as is. It's not supposed to run. It's not like it's going to be on a circuit race, but. It'll at least, I mean, worst case scenario, we're gonna push it into its position. All right, well, we're just gonna knock out throttle cable stuff and we'll keep you updated, guys. Yeah, we gotta do throttle cable stuff. Very tedious, um, annoying things. Yeah, basically, not fun. And uh, we will keep you guys updated as I rush. Adrian will be doing a lot of the talking today and I will be doing a lot of the wrenching, hopefully. And I might talk to you guys a little more in depth. Yeah, it's not, it's not fun. Trust mm -hmm. me, you don't want to be under here. <laughs> Alma, come here. All 
I got B-roll of Velma's face. I think we got throttle. Wait, <laughs> well, let me stop recording. <laughs> so, we now officially have our throttle cable connected. Let me double check. Let me know how it moves. Yes, I'll let you know. It should, it should move. Oh man, it's moving. It's moving. It's all the way. Dude, this is such a short uh, gas pedal. I don't know if something's off. It's kind of, it is. Moving. They're real short. Is that right? This yeah. is the first time I feel the throttle cable in this car because I've never really drove it. Oh, that's very short. It's very short, huh? That's, is that that's, how yours feels? No. Mine's a lot more softer. Yeah. This I is think. a lot more intense. This is just like. Yeah, this is going to be like, like you're going to barely touch it and it's going to go. Bah, bah. It's either all gas or no gas. This is going to be barely tapping it. Yeah, it's, it's already going. How much? Tap it? Yeah. You're barely touching it? Yeah. It, it gives a solid. This bracket is supposed to be facing up here, like, but all I did was take these two bolts out, flip it, and it brought it down here. Um, perfect for the angle of this, and perfect for the way the cable comes out, and it just barely cleared this yeah. line, so it should be fine. Worst case scenario, we'll just bend it a hair like that. And yeah, we're good now. So next is radiator and battery. And then after that, we should be able to put in the fuel tank and then we have room room. We got the 3D printer here, printing away. It's uh, making that shift knob again. So hopefully it works this time. And it doesn't mess up on us. All we needed to do to get it working was a uh, little a little bit of messing in the settings. Okay, so from what I see, we're pretty much done. Uh, we have the S2000 radiator on. Basically, we just threw it down as far as it'll go. We had to cut off the OEM radiator mounts for the OEM uh, a86 radiator they were half rusted anyways honestly this front radiator support needs to be swapped so if you're a grid life and you see this i know this is a rust bucket it's not a main condition car i'm actually going to print a picture of the car how it used to look so people can kind of judge it for what it used to be and not for what it is just because there's been a lot of work and it's kind of hard to see because it's not perfect and you know, you, you, at least me, I pick at every little thing, like, I don't know, anything. We threw the fuel, the plastic fuel cell in just enough to where it's tucked under the bumper. It's not going to be there for sure because it's ratchet strapped. So don't look under there. <laughs> if you're at the grid life, do not look under the bumper. Adrian finished wiring all the, here, let me hold this. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So Adrian routed the wiring through this. Honestly, I know this is dirty. We're gonna dust it off, so don't worry. I know it sucks and it looks hideous. But Adrian routed the cables through here, through the firewall, and into the car. We have to still find a good place for them, but it's pretty much done there. Uh, we need to throw in a battery, so we're gonna probably do that next. That's pretty much it, honestly. The biggest thing that I need to get done around here is the sh clean up the shop, because I'm having like a little bit of a panic attack shop here morale is low. in this yeah this, it's not that the shop morale is low because i've got a lot of energy to get it done but i can't work right when it's messy i can't explain it i just need to have it to where i can move like efficiently if that makes any sense so we're gonna end it here i'm gonna just keep you guys updated as you guys are seeing this it is the night of uh that i recorded this and it is wednesday Grid life is Friday, so we officially have one day as of tomorrow, maybe two if I want to get there on Saturday. The idea is to get there on Friday, though, so we have uh, as much exposure as possible. So with that being said, we're going to end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be uploading probably tomorrow as well until grid life so you guys can see what we get done. And if we're lucky, we might get a first start tomorrow. So cross your fingers, guys, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Adrian? Peace out. Mm.